guys. Dan saying hi. We are recording one of our Vlogmas videos. Many apologies, we are behind, but we're catching up. So today we wanted to share with you guys some Christmas trivia. Um, I have challenged Dan and he has accepted the challenge. Honestly, if you've ever seen Dan play Jeopardy, it's a done deal. <laughs> to be truthful. But some of these questions we thought were really fun, so we would share them anyway. So, are you ready? Are you sure? All right. And also, by the way, just to add in, you know, you guys know Dan loves to cook. Um, this is food Christmas, a uh, Christmas food trivia, I guess you would say. All right. What are pigs in blankets? Are they? No, don't tell me. Are they? Sausages wrapped in bacon, buns covered with whipped cream, and breadsticks wrapped in cheese. Is it A? Sausages wrapped in bacon. I didn't know that. I thought it was in bread. No? Okay. Eggnog is made of eggs, milk, sugar, and what else? Is it? Is it? You gotta stay. Shouting out the answers here, sir. Is it butter, cream, or flour? Cream, it is cream, but nicely done. Okay, here's a chance. All right, this one is more challenging. Let, let's see if we can get them. Which spirit is traditionally poured on top of a Christmas pudding and then lit? Is it A, wine, B, bourbon, or C, brandy? Brandy? No, oh, bourbon? Well, I guess you could use bourbon, but the answer they're looking for is brandy. Yeah. Dan, one Christmas, um, was cooking with, a friend, with, with an old friend of ours, and um, they actually managed to set some kind of Christmas pudding extravaganza they were working on on fire in the oven. It was amazing. I've never seen anything quite like it. <laughs> and you really find out about people when there's a fire in the oven. Like, who can keep their head in an emergency, right? And, and, and kind of who can't. So it was, that was quite a thing. It involved fire extinguishers and you know, the whole bit. We were just short of calling the fire department, I believe. So that was very funny. Um, yeah, we haven't done Christmas pudding since, and I, 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 I would venture to say they probably haven't either. Okay. Oh, here we go. This is fancy. Are you ready? According to the old English tradition, which coin was placed in the Christmas pudding mixture? Was it a sixpence, a penny, or two pence? Oh, Dan, dollface, you're slipping. It was a sixpence. I don't know what the differences are there, but I guess it makes sense it's English. Okay, some of these are too easy and I'm not, I'm not even insulting you with these. Okay, here's a really good one. I love mulled wine. So this is, I love wine, first of all, but mulled wine is really festive. Okay, so what are the traditional spices found in mulled wine? Is it cinnamon, star, anise, anise? Cloves and nutmeg, that's the first choice. The second choice is cloves, ginger, mace, and black pepper. Oh, that can't be right. And the third one, C, is cinnamon, turmeric, ginger, and cloves. So is it A? A, he's absolutely right. It is cinnamon, star, anise, anise, I'm not sure. Cloves and nutmeg. Um, we've made that before. I don't remember putting the the star anise whatever it is in there, but cloves and nutmeg for sure, um, as cinnamon sticks, um, and I usually put oranges in it as well normally. Okay, chocolate coins represent the money spent on Christmas gifts. True or false? False. You're absolutely right. You're absolutely right. 
Okay, what vegetable would you typically leave out for Santa's reindeer? Is it lettuce, cabbage, carrots? You think it's cabbage? No, carrots? Yeah, it is carrots, yeah. I, I can't, that, that's an easy one. Okay, here's a good one. And you, Dan's gonna know this, I betcha. What, which spice is traditionally used to flavor bread sauce? Is it ginger, cloves, or nutmeg? Cloves, I, I know it, nailed it, buddy. What is bread sauce, actually? Uh, we don't know, but you, you took a shot. Nicely done. Does it have to do with bread pudding? Okay. I thought maybe. Okay, let's see what else we've got here. One more. Now, some of these are just gimmies. You know, like what sauce is traditionally served with turkey? Cranberry sauce. Yeah, I, you know, they're ridiculous. I'm not here to insult your intelligence for sure. Here's an interesting one. This will be the last one. Do sugar plums have anything to do with plums? No. You cannot break down with Christmas, with food trivia of any kind, really, honestly, um, much less Christmas. So thank you guys very much for watching our videos, supporting us all year. Um, we cracked 400 a week or so ago. Um, we're very excited and we are we are very grateful um, when you guys subscribe when you comment when you click like to our videos all of that helps us with YouTube okay did you want to add anything in happy happy joy, joy. so that stands traditional closing so we weren't we're not gonna hold you guys we will see you tomorrow thanks again